What is up guys, welcome back to another video. Before we leave this crazy but amazing year that was 2020, I wanted to leave you with a visit follow along routine that you can do at the comfort of your own home with absolutely no equipment, maybe for your 2021 goals. With that being said, even though I'm not gonna be using any equipment for this routine, I'm gonna recommend two things. The first one is some of the moves are gonna be a sliding. So if you have a pair of socks and you can do this on a hardwood floor, that would be ideal. However, if you don't have socks, for some reason, or if you have a hardwood floor, do not worry, just the move is gonna be a little bit tricky, but you can still do it. And the second uh, option that I'm gonna mention is you can use blocks to elevate your hands, some yoga blocks, as well as parallels. And remember that the higher your hands are in any compression drill, is going to be easier for you. So if you have a pair of blocks or if you wanna train the visit on parallels, feel free to do that. You can also alternate some days you do the routine on parallels, the other day you do it on blocks and the other day you do it on the floor because how I recommend that you do this routine, it is two to three times per week with at least one or two, two days of rest in between each routine. With that being said, let's get to the routine. All right, family, we're gonna begin in the floor. Now, before we begin, I just wanna mention two quick things. Uh, the first one is that we're not gonna be doing any warm up for our body heat, like raising our body temperature. And the second one is that we're not gonna be doing any warm up, specific warm up to our wrist, just to keep this video short. So if you live in a cold environment, I just recommend that you do a couple jumping jacks and raise your body temperature. I don't, I live in Miami. And the second one, do some wrist stretches before jumping into this routine, especially if you have wrist pain or if you're doing this routine especially if you're doing it on the floor. With that being said, we are do going to be warming up our shoulders as well as our hamstrings just to open up our body for the visit training itself. But please make sure to raise your body temperature as well as mobilizing your wrist a bit. If you're ready to go, we're gonna begin with some table tuck lift. Place your hands underneath your shoulders. I'm gonna use, you can use several grips on this position, but I'm gonna be doing it with my fingers facing to the outside, just to mimic how we would do it on the parallel. You can also do it on a 90, uh, 45 degree angle or facing forward. You can also alternate as you repeat this session. First thing is you want to retract the shoulder blades and depress the shoulders. From here, going to raise your body up. If you see that your knees are not aligned with your feet, simply walk your feet forward or backwards to adjust that. Engage your glutes, retract the shoulder blades. Shoulder width, shoulder should be above the wrist. Hold it for one, two, lower down. Let's go for nine one of those. Two, down, three, keep the scapula, retract the entire time. Four, really push and engage those glutes. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And 10, hold it for 10. Nine, extend the the shoulder, seven. Six, retract the shoulder blades a little more. Shoulders he press as well. Five, four, three, two, one, and release down. I'm gonna be standing up for a shoulder stretch. Clasp the hands behind your back. You can your feet can be hip distance apart. Open through the chest, retracting the shoulder blades as much as possible. Deep press the shoulders so the shoulders are pressing down. Open first here. You can either stay here or begin to also warm up into the hamstrings, begin to fall. Again, you don't, your pose doesn't have to look like me. You don't have to be here. Simply work as your flexibility allows you. I'm gonna go for 10 pumps going down. Simply ballistic stretching. Let's begin counting now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, now hold, allow gravity to do its work, retract the shoulder blades a little more, keep an anterior pelvic tilt to open more into the hamstrings. We're basically opening the two areas that we need for the visit, which is shoulder extension and hamstring flexibility. Hold it for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
one and slowly come up. Let's do another uh, warming up or stretching for the hamstrings in a more dynamic style. And then we're gonna be holding that position. Let's grab opposite elbow, let me face the camera for this. Uh, feet, hips distance apart, it can be a little bit wider. You can also bring them together. Doesn't really matter that much. Just find whichever tension you have in your hamstrings. From here, grab opposite elbows, lift your chest as high as possible and tilt it to your pelvis. We're gonna go ballistic down for 20 times. So let's go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go five towards the left. Five, four, three, two, one. Five towards the right. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring it to the middle and just hold. Allow gravity to do its work. You can do some little movements. Engage your quads so your hamstrings release as well. If any of you are thinking, oh, we're doing passive stretching before uh, working out, we are passively opening the muscles that we are not gonna be uh, engaging or working, which are the hamstrings. We're gonna be using our hip flexors and our quads. So not, nothing wrong with actually opening the hamstrings It's actually going to make the VC training more effective. You can release the hands towards the floor and chill till your pelvis a little more. Use your inhale to lift your chest and exhale to fall a little bit deeper. Try to open the hamstring just as much as you can. Five seconds here, simply moving side to side, breathing or finding stillness in the position. And slowly release. Now, come down back towards the floor. The first exercise that we're gonna be doing is going to be visit attempts. Now, a visit attempts is something that I recommend two times per week at the very, very top, unless you're a high level athlete. So take it with caution. We're gonna be going for, how many attempts? Only two attempts. And if you're more advanced, you can also do three to five attempts. This is basically your practice time, seeing how your visit is. And as you repeat this over and over, I'm guaranteeing and I give you my word that the visit is going to be higher. But the bulk of all training cannot be just random attempts. It's going to be the exercises following that. But before we do the attempt, take a deep inhale in a seated forward fold. Go forward, stretch the hamstrings as much as you possibly can. Obviously, do not overstretch, but keep a length spine as much as possible. Add some little movements. Before I always do a V seat, and you wonder how I got it so high, is because I stretch my hamstrings before doing any attempt. So spend some 10 seconds here. Begin to calm the mind and calm the body. Begin to breathe as deep as possible. Your hands are going to be either on blocks, either on parlet. I'm gonna use a 45, around 45 degree angle with my hands, which is the easiest one that I found to get the visit. If you're more advanced, you can go into supine uh, grip, or you can work on this grip as well, or hands facing forward. I like this one to begin, not shoulder width, but a slightly bit wider. We're gonna raise in three, two, one, push with the shoulder, extend and rotate, bring the legs as high as you can, hold it for three, two, one, and come back. If you fall, that's totally fine. Resting in a seated forward fall. Take a deep inhale and exhale, fall. I cannot tell you how many times I've fallen backwards in my V-seat. That's totally okay, and actually I see it as a benefit. That means that you're really leaning backwards, you're really holding the position, and you're really going to your maximum capacity. So I'm not cutting this out of the video so you guys can see what a real training visit is. When I go for the second attempt in about 10 seconds, open up the hamstrings a little bit more, try to relax the mind, relax the body. And second attempt, place your hands a little bit wider than shoulder width in any grip that you like, point your toes, three, lean forward, three, two, one, push, Extend rotate, bring the hips forward, raise the legs up, hold it for three, two, one, release down, flex your foot so we also involve the calf, take a deep inhale, and exhale full. Again, you can do either another attempt, three to five, I would consider to be the maximum that I would go as an attempt of a move, basically you're going to the maximum. You can also work on your uh, talk B-seat if you don't have the V-seat yet. 
You can also go into visit from a talk version, so talk and then go into visit. Simply play with different attempts. You can also go into straddle visit, which is a progression that I skipped in the past, but it's a good progression to go for. Next one, now we're moving more into the exercises itself. The first exercise is gonna be a reverse plank to a supported compression. So we're gonna be here. The supported compression or pie compression is this movement right here. Basically like you wanna do a press to handstand or arms are straight the entire time. And the second move, we're gonna slide into a reverse plank, extending the hips as much as possible, retracting the shoulder blades as much as possible, not shrugging either, but depressing them. Glutes are engaged and then we go back. Let's go for 10 of those, and then we're gonna hold each position for five seconds. So just follow me, set up, you can get, again, do this on parallels or with any grip that you like. I'm gonna do this one in supine version, just because in supine you get more retraction on that tabletop or reverse plank position. So in three, two, one, compress your entire body, hold it for one, and extend back, extend your shoulders, hold it for one, and go back, two, two, engage your core here, lean forward, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, lean forward, six, four more, seven, Seven, eight, eight, two more, stay with me. One, one, two, two, hold it for five, four, three, retract more, two, one, bring it into compress, hold it for three, two, one, really set it down, leave your hands where they are, bring the butt towards your heels and we're gonna simply open the shoulders into extension in a very passive and chill way so simply drag the butt towards your heels you can be here or you can be totally here just any position where you don't feel pain you're simply opening the shoulders small retraction on your shoulder blades to open through the chest and catch your breathing <laughs> we'll be here for about 30 to 60 seconds. deeper, simply bring the hips towards the heels a little more or walk your hands forward, backwards, to open more your shoulders into extension. Slowly come back to your initial position. I'm gonna go for another round of those, uh, only eight of those. You can stay on the same grip. I recommend that you actually train on the same grip on the, uh, throughout the entirety of the session, but alternate as you go through different sessions because if you always do supine, you might feel a very, very sharp pain on your bicep. I'm gonna go for a facing forward grip. I just wanna show you different variations of the grip so you get an idea on how the form should look like, quote unquote, with the different grips. So setting up for the second round, fingers facing forward, 45, 90 or completely supine, parallels or blocks. Beginning three, two, one, slide back and compress. Slide forward and extend. That's one, this is two. Let's go for six more of those. Three, four, five, and six, hold it, three, two, retract more, extend more of the hips, one, compress, lean forward, push it strongly with your arm, protract the scapula, three, extend, rotate the shoulder, one, set it down, open your legs, at about, not full pancake, and not full completely straight, 
We're about a 70-ish degree angle. Take a deep inhale and exhale, fall forward, opening into the hamstrings. If you feel it too much in the hips, I recommend that you narrow your stand a bit so you can really focus, in this case, on the medial side of the hamstrings. Catch your breathing. I clearly need it. <laughs> use your hands and your inhale to lift your chest, create length with your body, and then use your exhale to get deeper into the pose. We're gonna be here for about 30 to 60 seconds before moving on into the next exercise. All right, the next one is going to be, again, more for a strength. So this one is mobility combined with a strength, the one that we previously do. Now we're going to focus mostly on upper body strength with obviously a lot, a lot of compression. And then we're gonna be doing more accessory work, which is lighter. So just saying that to say that this would be basically one of the hardest exercises from the entire routine. You, if you've done my routine, you've probably seen it and you've probably done it maybe, is L-sit to tuck this it. We're only going to go for five of those, two run of those, rest in 60 seconds. The movement, let me show it first, is L sit and then tuck V sit. When you do the tuck V sit, really drive those hip, hips forward, really lean back as much as possible. Try to create as much external rotation with your shoulders as possible. Ideally, the vice, the eye of the bicep facing forward. Very hard to do that, but do your best to do that. And simply compress your core as much as possible as you drive the hip forward. And once you return to the L seat, ideally keep the hips aligned with the hands, but if they go slightly behind, that's totally fine. Just make sure not to enter too much into protraction scapula, but trying to stay as much neutral as you can. With that being said, let's go for five of those. The set only lasts like five to 10 seconds, maybe 15 seconds. So just keep it all you got. Lean forward to create that hamstring flexibility first. As you can see, I'm setting up already my shoulders into retraction and depression, even though here they're forward, but as I lift, they're gonna lean back. Choose your grip a little bit wider than a shoulder width. In three, two, one. L-sit, tuck this. L-sit, tuck this. L-sit. So this is two more, one more, and down. Inhale, lift your chest, and exhale, forward fall. As you can see, probably notice the trick to getting the visit, or my personal trick, stretch your hamstrings in the middle of your set. I mean, it's not magic, and obviously, hip flexor strength, or hamstring flexibility, without hip flexor strength, you will not be able to get as high. But if you combine those compression drills and those shoulder extension drills, probably doing dips as well to create more upper body strength, combined with the hamstring flexibility is what allows my V seat to be so high. About 20 more seconds here before we move on into the second round. Slowly come up, adjust your uh, grip, hands as much as you need to. In three, set up your scapula first. Three, two, one, raise up for l -sit. Hips push forward, tuck this seat. That's for one, let's go for four more. Two, three, four, five, try to hold it. Five, four, three, two, one, back to l -sit. Set the legs down, inhale and exhale, forward fall. Stay here for about 30 to 60 seconds before moving on into the other exercise. If you're a little bit more advanced, you wanna intensify this stretch. If not, just stay here. But if you wanna involve the shoulder extension with the seated forward fall, simply open through the chest right here and fall as much as possible. This is only possible if you at least have a 90 degree, about 70 degree of uh, flexion in, in a seated forward fall, because if you are here, you won't be able to fall comfortably, but only do this stretch if you have the mobility and your body allows you to do it. And if it feels right as well, some days you might feel tight 
and you might want to do it some days you might feel tight and you might not want to do it slowly come up next one we're we doing a superset of v-ups combined with seated pie compressions let me show the two movements before we get, it, get into that v-ups you're gonna be touching your toes or going for the toes it's not about actually touching the toes but about creating as much active compression so chest to the legs as possibly as you can trying to keep the legs as straight as possible if that's too hard for you you can work with the hands forward and work on the tuck version of the v-ups i'm gonna go for 10 of those and then we're gonna go into 10 seated thigh compressions which is hands forward the more forward your hands are the harder the exercise is going to be the more backwards the easier and you're gonna be here lean as much forward as you can raise one inch from the floor and then we keep racing. If this is still too hard, even with your hands right here, you can work on single leg on each side. And as you progress through this routine, I guarantee you're gonna be moving from one progression to the other one. Without wasting more time, let's go into V-ups. I'm gonna demonstrate the top version first and then the full version for all of you guys following so you can see the two versions. Begin with the hands right here if you're doing the top or with the hands overhead if you're doing the full version. We're gonna need three, two, one, chest to the thighs, hold it for like one second, feel the movement, that's one. Let's go for nine more. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Try to hold it, lift your chest, get the knees closer. Three, two, one, release down. Sit up in a 90 degree position. Inhale with your chest, lean forward. Point your toes, squeeze those legs together. I mean, your fingertips, it's easier. You're gonna be on your palms. In three, two, one, we lift. Hold it for one second. Come down one inch, that's for one. Let's go for nine more. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Release down. Inhale with your chest, you know what's coming. Exhale, forward fold. Catch your breathing, 60 more seconds on this resting position. We do one more set of those. We finish with a passive stretch and then we're done for today. It's a quick routine for what I normally do, but we're going in a faster pace. So if at any time you need to rest a little bit longer and focus more on the move, you can do that. You can also check our previous visit routine, which I'm guarant guarantee that is way easier than this one. I'm gonna link it up up here and down in the description. If you're serious about the visit, you can check our core compression follow along routine, which I'm gonna link down in the description as well, as well as top five core compression exercises. All the videos are gonna be down in the description if you really wanna get the visit, so you can get it for 2021, before 2021, or as soon as you possibly can. Always keeping safety above speed so for the second round i'm gonna go for the full version of v-ups and the seated pie compressions arms overhead or arms by your side if you're doing the top version ego to the side choose the progression that you feel more comfortable three two one rise up touch for one down two let's go for eight more three four five six seven eight nine last one ten try to hold it for five four three two one set it down adjust your hands lean forward place your hands at a distance that you feel comfortable point those toes as much as possible engage the quads to release the hamstrings three two one for one two three four five six seven eight nine ten hold it for five four three two one set it down open your legs wide into a pancake stretch just to finish the class you got it you've done it 
if you don't add this far into the practice, congratulations. It wasn't easy, even for me. You saw me fall, so that's a new one here on YouTube. Take a deep inhale, exhale as far, far forward as you can. Doesn't have to look like mine. You can be here, as long as you feel it on the hamstrings, and in this case, more on the inner hips as well. You're totally fine. Keep a small engagement on the quads to release the hamstrings. But take this time to observe. Absorb the benefits of the practice. Feel proud for making it this far. Try not to judge yourself for any movements that you did, any movements that you didn't do. How high did you get on this session? If you do this session another time, you might not get higher. That's totally normal. The VCD is a strength move with a mobility component, a very strong mobility component. And when we're working, both of them, if you work too much on a strength, there are days where you're a little bit weak just because your body's super compensating. The same happens with mobility. You might have gone a cramp right here today. If you try to do a VCD tomorrow, you will not get as high because your hip flexors are uh, tired. So observe that as soon as you keep consistency on this routine, or on any routine for that matter, and you put in the time to rest well, you eat well, and everything that is needed to progress fast and safely, most, most than anything else, then you're good to go. 30 seconds of silence from Gabo's voice. and slowly come all the way up. So, there you have it guys, that's it for today's routine. I hope you enjoy it. If you enjoy it, let us know in the comment section down below if you like this more fast and quick pace type of routine. Also, let us know down below what else do you wanna see on this channel. I just wanna take the moment to thank you so much for all the love and support that you gave us on 2020. It was truly incredible and amazing. We cannot wait to share with you all the content that we have prepared for 2021. Please let us know below what else, what do you wanna see on 2021? And just thank you for making it through with us in this crazy, both personally and collectively year that was 2020. Whether it was hard or whether it was easy to you, just be thankful and be grateful for all the lessons that it might brought to you. I am thankful for you and the entire SM team is grateful for you as well. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, share, subscribe, comment down below what else you wanna see on this channel. And I will see you all next week. Much love. Yeah, we're gonna be doing some sliding moves. So if you can do this on a hardwood floor with some socks, I would highly recommend that. <laughs> you were filming? I would recommend that you are do it do you this in a hardwood floor so you can slide like a ballerina. <laughs>